Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my final thoughts on iOS 18. I have the official final release already installed on this iPhone 15 Pro Max, and there's some last minute details that I wanted to share with you guys before the official release on Monday, September the 16th. Apple has confirmed that the software will be available on Monday, September the 16th, alongside iOS 17.7. .7. Yes, Apple is also providing users with the option to stay in iOS 17 if you don't want to update date to iOS 18 while still providing users in iOS 17 with all security patches available in iOS 18. So alongside iOS 18, the release on Monday, September the 16th, Apple will also release iOS 17.7 .7 with all the security patches available for those that don't want to update to iOS 18, they can still stay within iOS 17 and enjoy all the security patches on their devices with 17.7. .7. So that's something nice. I hope Apple continues to do more of this. Now there's three things that I want to talk about because some users may be afraid to update their iPhones due to several things, bugs, battery, and performance, which is the three things that I want to talk about in my final thoughts. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I want to talk about is some of the latest bugs reported on the final version of iOS 18. Now check this out. Some users over on X and on Reddit continue to report that some of the main apps on iPhone would disappear randomly from the home screen. We're talking settings, fitness, find my weather, all these apps continue to randomly disappear from some users on the home screen of iPhone on the final version of iOS 18. Now I couldn't replicate this issue, so I haven't encountered this issue myself, but it looks like some users continue to report this. I don't believe it is a widespread issue, but keep in mind that that could be a bug that you could encounter with iOS 18, the official final release. Now, one bug that I did encounter was issues with Wi-Fi, which is sort of interesting because with iOS 18 betas, I did not encounter too many Wi-Fi issues, but with the official final version running on this iPhone, I've encountered spotty Wi-Fi and my Wi-Fi doesn't reconnect, so the connection is not reliable. For example, if I walk away from the studio, which I'm connected to Wi-Fi now, as you see, and I come back, it does not reconnect to the Wi-Fi network that I was previously connected to for whatever reason. I have to go back into settings and manually connect to the Wi-Fi or select the Wi-Fi network that it should already recognize on the iPhone. So this is something that's weird. I've encountered this issue multiple times on the final version of iOS 18, spotty Wi-Fi connection, and it doesn't recognize or reconnect to already connected networks once you walk away and come back. So something strange, maybe it isn't a widespread issue, but I've encountered this multiple times on the final version of iOS 18. Now I want to shift my attention over to older iPhones. So if you have like an iPhone 10 R, an iPhone 11, I have to say that the performance overall is nice on these devices. So in terms of like animations and just scrolling through the OS, after a couple of minutes of installing the final version, things are looking pretty good. So everything is solid so far on older iPhones. Yes, battery could be better, but keep in mind that Apple will continue to work towards performance and battery with more updates to come down the road. But overall, the performance on these devices seem pretty solid so far. Now, I wanna shift my attention over to performance and battery in general. So taking a look here at the latest benchmarks, on iPhone 15 Pro Max, this is iPhone 15 Pro Max on the final version of iOS 18 on this device. The single core score is 2,000. 846 and the multi-core score is 6,994. Now let's compare that on iPhone 15 Pro Max running iOS 17.6.1. So the single core score is better at 2,902 versus the 2,846. And the multi-core score is also better on iOS 17.6.1 with 7,086 versus 6,994. So in terms of performance overall, it looks like iOS 17 is performing better than iOS 18. And now keep in mind that is to be expected, as I mentioned before, Apple will continue to release more updates for iOS 18, improving on performance, battery, and hopefully fixing some of the bugs and issues that we just talked about. So overall, in terms of battery life for the entire line of iPhones that support iOS 18, I would say is okay, but it could be better. If you want better battery life, I would say stay in iOS 17. And those are my final thoughts on iOS 18, the final version. Still some minor bugs, still minor performance issues, still minor battery issues, but overall a pretty solid update. Let me know if you're going to be updating your device to iOS 18, or if you're going to stay on iOS 17.7 .7 once that becomes available on September the 16th alongside iOS 18. Thank you for watching this update and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.